Hello everyone, welcome to Local Terrain. Today I'm going to show you how to measure distance using nothing but a compass. So, to demonstrate this, I went to Shadow Falls. It's pretty much just the closest geologic feature to where I live. And it's got a nice little bit of height to it. Let's get right into it. So, I am going to be using a Brunton style compass. Brunton style compass is probably the most popular type to be using in geology or field research since it also has a built in inclinometer. So, this little rock here, I'm going to use this as my first point and I'm going to be measuring the distance from the rock to the waterfall. So, the first thing I do is I use my compass and I figure out what the direction towards the waterfall is from me. I then write this down because taking notes and always jotting down your measurements is super useful and you don't get it all jumbled up in your head. So what I just took is going to be called azimuth 1. And after that, I subtract 90 degrees from that angle. And then this is where we are going to step out about 10 feet. And now we're going to measure 10 feet, 90 degrees from what we are measuring the distance to. Now you can add this 90 degrees or you can subtract it. Essentially all it does is determine whether or not it's going to be on the left or the right side. And then we walk towards that point and we're going to be using this rock. So from here, I do the exact same thing and I measure the azimuth or the direction towards the waterfall. Using my handy little calculator watch here, all I'm doing is subtracting the first azimuth from this second azimuth. So 51 degrees minus 32 degrees. So when we subtract one azimuth from the other, we get the angle in between them. And this angle is going to allow us to calculate how far away we are. So now that we have an angle of 19 degrees, we're going to be using the trigonometry ratio of tangent to calculate how far away this waterfall is from me. So 51 degrees minus 32 degrees gives me an angle of 19 degrees. And all we have to do to measure the distance, take that line of 10 feet and divide it by the tangent of the angle we just measured. So that's 10 feet divided by the tangent of 19 degrees. And that gives us an answer of 29 feet. And as a little bonus, we can take that 29 feet and just do one additional measurement, which is, so if we want to figure out how high this waterfall is, we just have to use our handy little inclinometer to calculate it's 41 degrees from where we're standing. And then all we simply do is take the tangent of that angle, so tangent of 41 degrees, and multiply it by the distance it is away from us, which is 29 feet. And that gives us an answer of 25 feet high, and that's 25 feet from the height of the compass. So we're also gonna have to add another six feet for my height. So that gives us a waterfall height of 31 feet. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to click subscribe and like. 